dear students this is lecture 24 in supply chain management first let us discuss the questions of the last lecture first one if you include uncertainty in transportation then transportation cost the options are decreases increases same the fourth one is none the answer is increases so if you account for uncertainty in transportation certainly the transportation cost increases second one for low demand high value products all inventory should be dashed to save on inventory cost the answer is aggregated that means you have to collect the products and uh, keep it in inventory so that you can satisfy the customer's request at the same time the inventory cost will also be lesser third one mentioned two advantages of real-time tracking used by carriers to communicate with the vehicles the prime advantage is the carrier will come to know the location and contents of the particular vehicle the second one is accordingly the carrier can plan the immediate next step steps in transportation so that it is useful to maintain the responsiveness with the low cost the next topic is the role of sourcing in a supply chain sourcing means how and where you get the products or raw materials or even part of the products or services etc so purchasing also called procurement is the process by which companies acquire raw materials components products services or other resources from suppliers to execute the operations in supply chain management sourcing is the entire set of business processes required to purchase goods and services for any supply chain function the most significant decision is whether to outsource the function or perform it in-house first let us understand what is sourcing sourcing is nothing but purchasing the products or raw materials or components or services or any other resources from suppliers if you take a, a supply chain organization for example amazon amazon purchases the products from various suppliers and it uh, satisfy the customer's request but in some other supply chain management they may produce or manufacture some of the products also if it involves manufacturing process or production then they may need raw materials and these raw materials have to be received from the different suppliers suppose if the company involves in fabrication or assembling in that case they may get the components from various suppliers and in addition to that various kinds of services it may be information technology service or transportation or any other delivery services whatever it is so all these things are discussed under the topic of sourcing i think now you understood what is sourcing so sourcing is a process which includes lot of activities required for purchasing goods or services so once you understand what is sourcing the next question is whether we have to go for outsource the function or perform it in-house so we know what you mean by outsourcing that means we are asking the third party 
to do the job on behalf of the company. In-house means it, the uh, functionality is performed by the company itself. So let us understand what is outsourcing. Outsourcing results in the supply chain function being performed by a third party. So the company gives the functionality to the third party to execute. Outsourcing is one of the most important issues in facing a firm. And actions across industries tend to be varied. Outsourcing is a important and significant process in any firm or company because it will affect the profit that is supply chain surplus of the firm and also the quality of the product and reputation of the firm all these things also depends on how this outsourcing is process is carried out and also the actions are process done in various industries depends on the nature of the product and the process in outsourcing for example in automobile industry the outsourcing process will have certain sequence of steps and in software industry the outsourcing process may have a different kind of procedure to be followed because the nature of product is different and also the quality assessment and cost involved all these things differ from one industry to another industry of course the standards to be maintained in any industry for example automobile or software so each one has got different set of standards to be followed in the process of production or manufacturing the product let us clarify the distinction between outsourcing and offshoring a firm offshores a supply chain function if it moves the production facility offshore even if it maintains the ownership so what is the meaning of offshore means the company will maintain the ownership but it moves the production facility to different countries particularly to service to the particular market or to exploit the advantages in that particular country may be uh, low manpower cost or uh, low raw material cost or availability of raw materials like that a firm may move the production facility to any other country due to many reasons but it maintains the ownership it is called offshores in contrast a firm outsources if the firm hires an outside firm to perform an operation rather than executing the operation within the firm so now what is the difference between offshore and outsource outsource means the firm hires an outside firm and it is asking that firm to do operation on behalf of the the company it is called outsourcing for example apple company headquartered in california usa it has established offshore companies in ireland to exploit the tax advantages in that country ireland so this is a example for offshore another example for offshore is mi mobile and tv manufacturing company it is actually a chinese based concern so they have established a production in india itself because
because of the demand for their products actually the mi is having the around 32 percentage of market share in mobile market in india so this is another example for offshore we take uh, outsourcing the very famous product harlix it is a product from hindustan unilever limited but uh, what they do they outsource the production process to various companies in different states because of the very huge demand for the product so the production process is outsourced to third party but they will verify the quality of the product to ensure that it is as per the specifications of the particular product in software industry also both outsourcing and offshore takes place for example microsoft has established its own office in india it is an offshore at the same time as you know various uh, small software companies they get the projects or works from the foreign countries and they do the job in india and after that they submit the product to the original company that is outsourcing so in software both uh, offshore and outsourcing takes place the outsourcing of supply chain activities by a firm based on the following three questions the first one is will the third party increase the supply chain surplus relative to performing the activity in in house so you compare the profitability that is supply chain surplus that's what we call it as in supply chain management so whether by giving the job to the third party will it increase the profitability or supply chain surplus when we compare to perform the same functionality or same activity in house that means by the company itself so you compare the supply chain surplus of both then you choose the better one that is whichever gives the higher supply chain surplus that is higher profitability that is the real choice isn't it mostly we go for higher profit only so you compare with these two in house and outsourcing so whichever gives higher profitability you choose that one the second question is how much of the increase in surplus does the firm get to keep the meaning of this point is how much of the increase in surplus the firm will keep it for that particular concern because the supply chain surplus or profitability it is to be shared by all the parties involved in the supply chain management system so in this case the company has to decide how much of the increase in surplus actually the firm will get out of that it may be 60% or 50% or 40% it depends upon the nature of the product and particular industry the third question is to what extent do risk grow upon outsourcing certainly outsourcing involves some risk also particularly in quality we have to ensure that the quality of the product is as per the requirements of the particular company second factor is cost whether the cost is as per the agreement established between the two companies so certainly the outsourcing involves some risk in terms of quality cost and delivery response time and process involved in manufacturing the particular product 
so the company has to ensure that all these things are followed by the third party so that the company's total product also is as per the specifications so that the outsourcing will help the company to get more profit and to maintain the reputation also outsourcing works better only when if it helps the company to increase the supply chain surplus that is profitability or profit and also the company has to get some considerable part of that supply chain surplus that is profit then only the company can consider or go for outsourcing and also by reducing the risk once a decision to outsourcing has been done the process include the selection of suppliers design of supplier contract product design collaboration procurement of material or services and evaluation of supplier performance as shown in the next slide which we are going to discuss detail in the coming slides as you see it here the first step in sourcing process is supplier scoring and assessment this we do scores for various factors of the particular supplier and we assess the supplier the next step is supplier selection and contract negotiation so there are a number of suppliers are there for the particular product or raw material then we have to select from that list and establish a contract between the company and then design collaboration that is both the companies join together to design the product then procurement that is actual purchase then finally sourcing planning and analysis so we are going to discuss all these steps in detail later students answer for these questions